this is amazing now you can fine-tune google jamma model first we are loading google jamma large language model then we pass the json l data that's your custom data and then fine-tune the large language model we are going to use jamma 2 billion parameter model which is not instruction tuned then we are going to use databricks dolly data set and going to fine-tune the model for instruction that's exactly what we're going to see today let's get started Hi everyone, I'm really excited to show you about fine-tuning Google Jamma large language model. In this, we are going to feed a JSON L dataset, which looks like this. Each line is a JSON object, which consists of instruction, context, response, and category. By default, if we ask the model to tell me a joke and click compute, then it is not going to tell you a joke. It's going to continue generation. If I say tell me a poem, it's going to continue generating some random text, but not the actual poem. So we are going to make this large language model to follow instruction. Like when I ask you to create a poem, then it should create a poem. I'm going to take you through step by step on how to instruction fine tune. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. First, pip install TensorFlow and CUDA and then click enter. Now you can see the Keras version is 2.15 that need to be higher than 3. So pip install hyphen u Keras and then click enter. This will automatically upgrade the Keras package. It might say it's incompatible but this version is required. Next pip install Keras NLP that is natural language processing and enter. Now I can see Keras got reverted back to 2.15. So again we might need to upgrade that using pip install hyphen u Keras. Next, pip install tensorrt and then click enter. Now this is the data set which we are going to use, databricks dolly 15k. So this contains instruction, context, response and category. So basically we are teaching a model such as when did Virgin Australia start operating, then the large model should respond with Virgin Australia commence service on 31st August 2000. So it's same like teaching a baby how to respond. Now we need to download using wget and then databricks dolly 15k jsonl and the path. I will put all this information in the description below so it's easy for you to redo. So now I'm downloading it. It's downloaded now. So if I open the file, this is how it's going to look like. Each row is a JSON object which contains instruction, context, response and category. So if you want to fine tune your data, you can modify this accordingly. Now I'm going to teach the large language model how to respond to instruction using these examples. So in this, we have successfully completed downloading the JSONL data. Now we are going to program it so that the large language model can use the data and be fine tuned. Now let's create a file called app.py and then let's open it. Inside the file, first import OS and JSON, then Keras, Keras NLP. Now we need to set up Kaggle username, os.environ, next os environ Kaggle key. This is not required, but just for your reference, you can even change this username and hard code your username here and also change the key here and hard code the key here. Next, os.environ Keras backend, that is Torch. XLA Python client mem fraction is one. Three things we are going to do here. First, load the data, then load the model, then fine tune the model. So loading the data, data equals and then we got the JSONL data which we've just downloaded using wget. So I'm going to loop line by line and merge the row into one, like instruction and response. So you could even use a CSV file or any other format. As long as the instruction is in this area and the response is in this area, then it should work. Next, I'm going to use only the first thousand rows to keep my tutorial quick. Totally, it contains 15,000 rows, but I'm choosing only 1,000 rows. The more rows you have, the better the model will become. So we've completed the first step of loading the data. Now we are going to load the model. Jamma LM equals Keras NLP from preset, and we are defining its 2 billion parameter model. Next, we are printing out the summary just to get an understanding of the model. Now I'm going to do before fine tuning how this is going to look like, and after fine tuning, how this will look like. We are going to compare that. So first prompt template, 
The question we are going to ask is what should I do on a trip to Europe? Next print jamaalam.generate and we are passing the prompt like this. We are going to ask one more question. Prompt equals template.format and then here is the question. Explain the process of photosynthesis in a way that a child could understand. And I'm going to print the response. So we have completed two steps and I'm going to run this code. In your terminal, python app.py and then click enter. Now this should automatically download the required model, which you can see here. Downloading completed. And here is the model summary. Total number of parameters, trainable parameters. Now it's going to do before fine tuning how it's going to look like. So here's the question, what should I do on a trip to Europe? And here's the response, which it says one, two, three, and it's the same response. Similarly for explain the process of photosynthesis in a way that a child could understand. And it's continuously typing and it's not explaining for a child to understand. It's more complicated and you can see it's repeating itself. Now we're going to teach the large language model. So the third step, fine tune the model. Gemma LM dot backbone enable LoRa rank four. You can try a different rank. Then we are printing out the summary. Now we're going to set up the sequence length and the optimizer, which is Adam W having the learning rate and weight DK. Next optimizer, exclude from weight DK is bias and scale. Now we're going to compile jamalm.compile and then providing the loss function, the optimizer and the weighted metrics. Now we're going to fit the data. This is where the training happens. So these are just configurations, then be compiled and finally the training happens in this stage. You can try increasing the epochs to get a better trained model. To keep it simple, I'm just having one epoch. So it's better to have more than one. Next, gemalm.save and providing the path and include optimizer is true. I'm saving the model so that we can use that later when required. So each time we don't need to train and use the model. Now, after fine tuning, we will use the same type of prompt templates and then ask the same question just to compare. And finally, printing the response. Same question again and printing out the response. Now we are ready to run the code. So this two bits of code is the main setup to run the training. Now coming back to our terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. Now it's going through step by step as before. So we use LoRa adapter. So that means the trainable parameter is now approximately 1.3 million. Now it started training. Ultimately the loss value need to come down, which I can see it's slowly decreasing. So more time you train, the more data you ingest to train, the more epochs you try to add, more than one, then this loss will come down. Now the training is complete. So it went through all the thousand rows one time. That's one epoch. So after fine tuning, it's going to print out the results. So here's the question. What should I do on a trip to Europe? Response. There is no one answer that will work for everyone. But here are some ideas for your trip. Visit a castle, take in the views, go shopping, and it's instruction following. This is amazing. Similarly, for the next question, explain the process of photosynthesis in the way that a child could understand. Photosynthesis is the process of plants using the energy from sun and water to make their own food. The plants take in water and sunlight and carbon dioxide, and then they use this to make their food. Now it's more instruction following and a child should be able to understand this. I'm really excited about this. Now you can fine train based on your requirement. I'm going to create more videos similar to this. So stay tuned. I hope you like this video. Do like, share and subscribe. And thanks for watching.